Notice as I'm coming forward, how sideways it is. Whoa! Oh my God! Yep. DJI's done an update and I'm working on a video to help you guys learn and understand more about that update, especially if you're using an Android device. However, this is not that video. It is another cold and pretty windy day out. And I thought, how better to test the new attitude feature on the new update than to launch the mini up and do a screen record and let's just take a look and see how it like kicks around. So let's go ahead and get it up in there and take a look. I think this is the first time I've ever turned it on and it didn't need a compass calibration. Did that have anything to do with the new update? I don't know. Now the winds aren't near as crazy as they were in that video there today, but they are windy. They are gusty and the snow is blowing around and it's been windy enough that my camera was blown off of the top of my car, which is what it's sitting on right now. I've got everything turned on and I'm not gonna dive too far into this new app in this video. If you're interested in this update, make sure you've subscribed and click the little bell icon because that video is being worked on as you watch this. What I am gonna show you is the new attitude or as some people are calling it, the compass. You click where the map is in the bottom right of that, you click it again, and it turns into a little circly thing, right? If we take off. Take off. The home right point there, has been updated. The blue arrow leaves the home point. Okay, now my hands are off the stick, and you can see that line to the left and the right of that blue arrow. That is the level of the drone. So you can see it fighting the wind because of the GPS lock, trying to stay in spot, and it is really fighting it. This is actually a lot windier than I thought it was. The blue dot is sort of what replaces what used to be in the center of the screen. They took that out. I think they should have left that even with the blue dot, because if you switch it back to maps, and now I'm looking around, well, the blue dot's still there, it's still there. But it's so small, I just liked it being in the screen in the middle. If we go ahead and land it right there, all right, you're gonna notice, come on, land. Landing. Oh God, it's so windy. Give me a second. These are snowboarding gloves, which I'll link in the uh, description below. In another video I went on how they are so form-fitting and tight. That's what she said. And touch sensitive so you can still tap all over your screen. But now that the drone is over there, let's go ahead and take off again. Take off. And it should be the whole point point. has been updated. See that? Please check it on let's the map. That again. We're going a little further away. I'm so surprised that it's it's flying like so well. So we're gonna land right here. I don't know if you can tell it's pretty far away. And now the home point is still back here, but when we take off again, take off. No, the home point, point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Go ahead and turn it around, bring it back, and switch it back over to the attitude. Notice how well the gloves just worked. Touch sensitive, I'm telling you. We're gonna bring it back towards us. But notice as I'm coming forward, how sideways it is. Whoa! And it just completely fell out of the sky. The motors totally just died, everything died, but look where it landed. And that is what I don't want to happen when you fly over the lake or something. I've flown in weirder conditions than this, so I'm not quite sure what it just happened. The power is still on. Now before everybody starts jumping my bones down in the comments below about you should have noticed all these warnings and you shouldn't have been flying in those conditions, you're right. However, this is the exact reason I bought the Mini 2, because it is something that I can put into stranger conditions, harder conditions, and take more chances with it. Now taking chances with it doesn't mean unsafely. As you can see in a situation like this where the wind and the weather did get a little weird, I never flew far from the home point, I never flew very high, and I never flew anywhere near other people. So I have sent the logs and everything into DJI to try and figure out what exactly happened because to the best of my knowledge, I had some kind of seize in the motor or something get stuck in the motor. I really don't know and I don't want to use this particular video to analyze and go too deep into that. But I have everything sent in to DJI right now and I'm waiting to hear back from them and at that point I'll probably make a standalone video explaining what actually happened. So until then let's just focus on what this attitude 
icon actually is for, which these conditions are perfect to show you guys. And it gets even crazier from here. We've got all the snow blown off. Everything seems to be back in order, but the props won't start. When I try to start the props, oh. Now they started, just a second ago they made a weird noise. It wouldn't start. Now I don't know if this is due to the cold. It's definitely not due to the wind. And I swear I've flown in colder conditions than this, so I don't really understand what's happened. So let's just see what happens if we hover it nearby. All right, so we're just gonna raise it up and go right over the here. Point has been updated. Please so I'm just hovering the right over the snow, really low to the ground. I'm gonna check that altitude, attitude thing. Look at it blowing around in the winds. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So notice, as it moves, so does the attitude angle, right? These winds are insane all of a sudden. When I first got out here, these winds were barely blowing, but all of a sudden they have picked up and I would never, ever suggest trying this at home. Hey, whoa, look at that. Now originally, I was going to fly it out over the lake and do some flying, but these winds picked up way too strong for my liking. So I'm going to keep it over land. I'm going to fly just in this little area so you can see the attitude thing and how the home point and all that stuff works. So now I'm flying forward, but it's angled so much. Damn, that is crazy. It is really, really fighting that wind. That is, oh, I wish you guys, it's trying to go down. It's going down. The wind is blowing. Oh my God. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't fly like this. But I am, I'm mind blown that it's even doing it at all. <laughs> I really need to take those stickers off, huh? And that is crazy how stable that footage is with as much as this thing is moving around. And look at the lake, look at, look at the stuff blowing off the lake. That is crazy gas coming this way. As you can see, that is how the little new compass slash attitude uh, device on the bottom left corner in the new update works. The bar across shows the attitude of the drone whether you're pushing it forwards sideways back ways you can also see where the home point is and you can see where the controller is versus the drone so notice i'm the blue dot and as i turn the little blue arrow on the blue dot also turns so that little blue arrow shows the direction your antenna is basically pointing so you can make it point towards a drone i don't really like that they got rid of the other spot because it was really always very easy to tell when you're pointed towards your drone and where it was in relation to where you took off ah, there we go that's it i i am impressed once again that i didn't just destroy this thing the reason i did buy it was to be able to do safe responsible lawfulness yet careless things with it you can do both in the same if you guys enjoyed watching this quick little video just explaining what that attitude uh, new update is. Make sure you click the thumbs up button. If you didn't, piss off and I'll see you hopefully never again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go knock the rest of the snow off this guy and get to work. So I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting down below. Remember every first and third Monday of 2021, I will be doing a live show. Hope to see some of you guys in it where I'll be giving away prizes and other fun stuff. See you there.